Hello and welcome to another review here at Total Toy Recon. My name is Bob and I will be your host as we unbox and review the Star Wars First Order Flame Trooper Collectible Mini Bus. Now this is 1-6 scale, currently retails for $120 on GentleGiantLimited.com. You can get free shipping if you order directly from Gentle Giant. They sent us one to review. Um, I love the Flame Trooper. Kind of thought like, why didn't we see him earlier? But then again, he was inserted into as the incinerated trooper into the game, um, uh, early Star Wars game. So you can always say, well, he kind of was there. He just was in the expanded universe. Putting him in The Force Awakens made him canon. So as you can see from here in the box, do the flame through. I love this because this is these this part here is very Ralph McQuarrie design of a original like kind of snowtrooper. Um, some things if you look really deep. So uh, I love the specialist stormtrooper units advance in conjunction with the standard first order infantry using a D ninety three incinerator. So yeah, it just seems to make sense. Um, you know, it, real quick, my interpretation of of these guys when i saw them in the in the trailer i was they have less stormtroopers now so they probably have to use a little bit more crowd control than before and maybe they weren't as terrifying and this made them more terrifying but that didn't really turn out to be the way it was it just was a flame trooper so let's open this bad boy up now um so as usual with a gentle giant you get a baseball card that is kind of like your letter of authenticity really nice and we have number 14 of 2000 uh, slightly higher than the last one we did. We just reviewed a short trooper and had 10. So these are second time we've had a really low number. Um, we do have another confirmation right here. We have 14 of 2000. It's pretty big actually. I and mean, we'll get them out. You know, I'll, I'll bring out a, uh, I brought out a little friend here that would kind of, uh, help illustrate the size of the box. At least this is a six inch, uh, flame trooper from the first order now unfortunately i don't think i have one out of the box on 375 scale so there is a 375 han solo from endor original kenner figure um but don't worry we'll, we'll do the comparison again when we get them out of the box so we have big styrofoam thing here now let's just slide them out not nearly as big as some of the busts that we've done but we have done several of these one six scale mini busts um so get gentle giant printed there no Star Wars printed on this one, so this one's pretty big. So let's, hmm, let's open this up. Again, I always leave a bookend side of the tape so that I can fold it back over and I know how it goes. I, I like saying that because so many people, why do you keep this styrofoam? Because you never know when you're going to put it back in the box and transport it somewhere. And I keep all this stuff. It drives the wife crazy, but she does understand in the long term when she starts packing them up. And we do rotate. We have so many of these now. We actually rotate through them. So we kind of like, oh, it's September 1st. We need to change them out, which makes it fun because, you know, it, it draws people's attention. God, that's heavy. Uh, it draws people's attention each time we do, uh, we change them out. So they're like, oh, there's, who's this? And I'm like, that's Grand Moff Tarkin. Uh, who's that? That's Black Sivivac. Um, so we do have a lot of fun uh, changing them out, making it cool. And thankfully, my wife loves Star Wars. Um, so we're able to do that. And it's not a big deal. All right. So there he is. Um, I love how he's kind of not perfectly white. He's just a little off yellow. I don't know if you can really see that here in the in the camera. But for me, the off yellow, off yellow. He is a little over six and a half inches, almost seven inches tall. Um, so now let's do a scale here. So here we have, he's a little over seven inches because this, this is a six inch um, uh, Hasbro Black Series figure. So I actually had like four of these at one point. But they were still in the case. And then here's the... So it kind of gives you an idea. This is a nice, this is a nice mantelpiece um, size bust. Um, the arms are great. Now, they do not move. So one thing I was kind of surprised is I have reviewed a First Order Trooper. You could change it out. You could put the uh, the pad on the shoulder. You could give him a pistol or you give him a rifle. You could hold it. He could have a hand moving. This is a little bit more straightforward. So this would go really good with that First Order Trooper. And we do have a review of him on our YouTube page uh, and on our Instagram. Probably YouTube will be easier to find. But we've got nice, nice bags here. I mean, it, it's a solid piece. So no silver piece. Um, if you go back to our Shore uh, Trooper review, he had a silver coin here, which I couldn't quite figure out what that was for because I hadn't seen it before. So these are rubber here. <laughs> these are rubber. And there you go. Just got rid of the styrofoam. So as you can see, 
Again, 14 of 2,000. And such great details. I mean, look at this gun. It feels it, it feels real even though it's tiny. And you kind of wish that, you know, I mean, that's about the size of a, of a Hot Topic figure. Like Hot Topic. Hot Toys figure. Sorry. Sorry, Hot, hot Toys. And it's just the gun is amazing. Um, and the details. I mean, you're obviously seeing what you're paying for here. This is $20. This is $120. Um, you know, I'm more likely to put this out than have him on display. Um, but... Nothing moves here, but, oh, here, check this out. So you can see details here in the arms, the gloves. See, we have black on one side, but yet we have white on the inside. They could have just all blackened this as one piece, but they didn't. So we have this finger triggers here, really nice details. And then even like details here, we've got two little dots where the armor snaps on. Very pointy. So this is... This is, ooh, and this is cool because this is like your retro throwback. I always called this oil um, on the back of a storm, original stormtroopers uniform. I see him on his back, the, the oil, um, or is it oi? You know, it just depends, uh, on your preference, but, ooh. So here's another, it's another careful point of, uh, be careful with this point right here. Very, very flimsy, very flimsy. That, and then even like, look at the gauges. So we have gauges here. And these little wires here, this is all, it kind of scares me, um, touching it. So, but you really want to be careful. Yeah. It, it feels rubbery. So maybe it's done a little bit of a give, but when, as soon as you put it down and put it down here, this is already just about touching ju just like here, as you can see, I want to show you how close that is to the ground. So watch this. Like it's. The card just slides under it. Now, granted, it's very thin, but I'll do it with a bag. See, it's just there. So, I mean, if you're you're putting on a mantle, make sure it's a, it's a smooth surface. It's not like a uh, like a rocky or a brick. Um, it may push it up a little bit. And there's this is generally a lot of color here, uh, not a lot of color. So we've got white, we've got black, a little bit of gray, but there's red dots right here on the gun you can barely see them but it's such a fine detail it's really amazing it's amazing what gentle giant can do um so i can't recommend it enough makes a great gift for someone who's really into the sequel trilogy uh the the first uh the first order uh the force awakens um nice piece i mean it says star wars all over it you can't miss it i wish the logo was here like you saw it on the on the the logo of the first order was here um, I don't know why they didn't do that, but it's such a cool thing. But then again, it's all up to the designer too. So this is Bob from Total Toy Recon telling you, you definitely got to pick up one of these. It's a great gift to give somebody as we approach the holiday season, uh, always for Father's Day and birthdays is a great gift. And, uh, I recommend either ordering it from Gentle Giant or ordering it directly from your local comic book shop. Thank you. Have a good night.